You guys done it now. You guys just done it now. Look at that. Storming onto Nintendo like y'all have the right. Mad over an announcement. Well, too bad because then Mario is actually going to stop you guys. Look at you guys trying to attack Mario. Look at that. Oh, you guys got him. You guys got him. Oh, 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 he got you up back. But anyway, guys, my name is Fire Phoenix King, and I'm here to talk to you about the whole Nintendo VGX drama that's going on. Now, before I even get started, let me talk to you guys about what um, the VGX is. The VGX is a video game award where you know video games get awards according to catalogs, kind of like the Grammys. Um, but Nintendo had said that they had an announcement, and by that, you know. Everybody, including me, we were speculating that they were going to show a big title because they're not talking to the Nintendo fan base. They're talking to everybody. They're talking to everybody that sees the VGX, which in this case aren't just 100% hardcore Nintendo gamers. Now, with that being said, you know, we all speculated. We all thought, well, you know, Zelda something other than, you know, Tropical Freeze would be the best option. And, you know, here comes the day and... And, you know, <laughs> Nintendo revealed that Cranky Kong was now, uh, you can play as Donkey Kong. And so, it began, you know, Nintendo announced the wrong thing at the VGX, they announced, you know, something else, they should have announced Zelda, now they're gonna lose, you know. Now, give me one second. We are arguing over one game, which is a Zelda game, which I truly love. I love the Zelda series. I love all Nintendo series. Now, but here's my thing. We're complaining about, you know, having them show us Zelda when they already said they're going to show Zelda E3. We just want a desire for them to show. Oh, look, here we go. The boss. The fanboy. The angry fanboy. Roar! <laughs> But, um, yes, we have a desire to see a Zelda trailer because, you know, you know, who doesn't want to see Zelda? But that's letting us make us look weak. You know, the Xbox Nation and the PlayStation Nation, you know, they're basically proving us right that the Nintendo Wii U doesn't have games. And, and it does. You know, Super Mario 3D World, Assassin's Creed, Black Flag, Call of Duty Ghosts. We have AAA titles, Wonderful 101. The list can go on. But we're letting them prove us wrong. And when we're over here defending Nintendo, saying, oh, it has games, it has this, it has that. What we should do is just, you know, say, you know what, they, they show Donkey Kong, that's cool. We should get ready for the next Nintendo Direct. Why? Because if they show Donkey Kong, uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure they might still show a little bit of Donkey Kong. But the next Nintendo Direct will be the biggest one we've had. Because it's going to lead to 2014. I'm not trying to hype this up just in case it doesn't happen. Which Nintendo should back me up. But what I am saying is that we should get excited for the upcoming year. The upcoming year, you know, we got Mario Kart U, Smash Bros. You know, that Monolith X title. You know, we got good games coming our way. But we're over here killing ourselves for one game. Now check out this level guys, you guys, now that I defeated the fanboy, Mario's gonna go after the rest, look at y'all trying to retreat, look at that, ooh yeah, Mario's gonna get y'all, look at that, ooh he's determined, but yes, um, you know, let's not just um, hate on Nintendo, let's, let's remember what they are giving us, for example, Mario 3D World, have you picked that up yet, it's an amazing game. Have you picked up Wind Waker HD? It's a remix, but it still feels like an amazing game. Wonderful 101 is truly action-packed. Assassin's Creed Black Flag, Call of Duty Ghosts just speak for themselves. They're AAA titles. But we're over here whining because we didn't see a trailer to one of our favorite franchises. Which, like I said, I wouldn't really see it too. But I'm not going to start, you know, complaining about it and say that Nintendo is stupid for making the wrong decision. Because if you really look at it this way, why waste a good announcement on a show that, you know, that didn't, no one really kind of knows about, you know? It's like putting a Nintendo announcement in a Sony pres uh, press conference, you know. They're not going to share the news. They might think it's cool, but they're not going to share the news. You share the news with those who have the same common interests. That's just a business move. 
you give a Nintendo fan a Mario game, they're gonna share it. You give a Nintendo game to a Sony fan, they might think it's cool, but they won't share it. That's basically it. But alright guys, I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of this gameplay here. We'll get to the boss, which is the Nintendo fangirl. <laughs> you guys see what I mean. But, um, yes, let's just stop. You know, Nintendo is still out there making good games. They're not going to go anywhere anytime soon. But let's not forget to choose, you know, let's, let's try to see, you know, what they come up with. Nintendo Direct for December should be coming up pretty soon. Unless the Louvre was the Nintendo Direct for December, which in this case, you know, I would be kind of disappointed. Because like I said, I'm, I'm still disappointed that they didn't show Zelda, but I'm not going to sit here and say Nintendo was dumb, they didn't make the right decisions. Because in due time, they will show their games. And we all know that once they show that Zelda game, we are in for a big treat. We all know this. We just want when it is desired. So let's just go ahead and keep calm and game on. And look at that. The Nintendo fangirl. Woo! She's also mad. She's also mad. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I'll let you guys see the rest of this gameplay, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Enjoy the day. Until then, keep it hot, Fire Avengers.